everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Janet if you're new here welcome if you've been sticking around for a bit or for a short while welcome back my name is Janet and I'm here to talk about breastfeeding and thank you thank you for um, the love and watching my previous video where I spoke about my birth story with my husband um, yeah I really enjoyed filming that and I'm back again as I promised to talk about all things breastfeeding mainly so from uh, a perspective of just my journey so far um, so yeah stick around and if you like this make sure you like you comment share and subscribe all right let's get into the video Okay, ladies, this one is for you, my breastfeeding mamas and mama to be. So push your husbands to the side, push your man them to the side. It's gonna be <laughs> just me and you, me and you. We so we're gonna be talking all things boobs, breast, milk, all that good stuff. I love it, and it's natural. There's nothing to be ashamed about. It's a natural process of life and yeah, I'm excited to just talk about my journey so far and what worked for me. So with my experience so far, um, the reason why I really felt to share it is because um, I felt like I have a, 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 an interesting journey. So my first time trying to breastfeed with my firstborn, um, I really struggled and I tried to breastfeed um, on and off for about a month and then after that it was just... A struggle I was struggled right from the beginning from the get-go actually but um, I tried to pull through and it just didn't work and I gave up after about a month um, so after that he was having formula which I don't see anything wrong with having formula I yeah I don't see anything wrong with it it's just I tr wanted to breastfeed my kids um, so it didn't work out the first time round and I don't know why I remember being so depressed having baby blues um i've got this fur i'm a first time mum. i've got this newborn and you know he just wants to be fed and it was just so bad so much other things were happening as well at the same time which made it worse um but i'll just talk about the breastfeeding and um yeah i just really struggled with it um and i couldn't really figure out why i was struggling you know you look at you look at um other mums um, online or you, you, people that you know in real life or your friends, your auntie, your mums, um, these lovely, lovely NHS posters and these lovely breastfeeding adverts and you see women breastfeeding so naturally, so easily, you know, it's just pop baby there and just go, go, go and it's just, I was just in for a shock with my experience with my son it was nothing like that it was nothing like that I had no idea it was so technical you have to hold a baby in a certain position you have to latch the baby on in a certain position um yeah it was just quite difficult and obviously different breast sides affect um how breastfeeding goes for you and your baby and one thing I came to also realize is that different nipple sizes affect um, breastfeeding and latching and all that kind of good stuff so that's basically what I'm going to be focusing on um, in this video so for me when I tried to breastfeed my second born my daughter when I was pregnant with her I made sure I was doing crazy research I was researching like why did I why couldn't I breastfeed the first time around like I wanted to try like I, I knew that I, I knew that it could fail and not fail I don't want to say fail in a bad way I'm just saying that I knew that it could it I might not be able to breastfeed or I might and and I was happy with you know either either way but I wanted to look into it and see if I could breastfeed my second born second time round so I remember when I was pregnant I was looking at so many YouTube videos and hence why I'm doing this video now because I just feel like so many YouTube videos helped me um, um, get to this point so basically simply what I came to realize was two things the latch was not right and um, but the latch was not right because of the shape of my nipples some women have like nipples that are just like pew, like <laughs> I don't know how to even say that <laughs> in any other way but um long story short what i'm trying to describe is like you know before the nipple is erect or anything like that their nipples already like kind of protrude and then you have like the ones people that have like maybe um introverted nipples like so the the, the nipples like kind of introverted or you have people that have 
it protrudes but it's a bit like flatter or big like I don't know flats I don't know how to best describe it but we all know that we all have nipples that are different shapes and sizes so I think my nipples fall into the kind of um um they're quite big to go into my baby's mouth and they're quite um they're not as pointy so you just really have to like suck it out the baby has to suck it out to get it to stay out and so I didn't know all this with my first time with my first one I didn't know all this so as I was researching I realized that hmm maybe that could be the issue maybe because my nipples are a certain shape that that's why I struggled with the latch and it was just the pain with my first one was just ridiculous it was out of this world bearing in mind that I've had a natural birth two times so I can I think I can handle pain I can handle pain I natural birth with um, just gas in there towards the end um, so I can handle a bit of pain I can so not being able to handle breastfeeding was very baffling to me the pain of breastfeeding I know it's painful and I know yeah you know it's painful for some for, for, for some women anyway and I couldn't get my head around why I was struggling to um, handle the pain it was excruciating and I think the reason why it was so, so excruciating was because the latch was wrong um so yeah um i'm going to show some products that i use that i bought with my second time round and um, that really helped me so, yeah so i've been breastfeeding now my daughter for about well she's three months now so i've been breastfeeding successfully for three months and that's because of these products right here i'm going to show them right now okay so one of the first things that i bought when i was expecting my second born daughter was this it's called Latch Assist by Lantino and um, basically it just helps, what does it say? Helps your, it says it helps your baby latch on, um, which I didn't really use it, that's why it's still in the box. I haven't used it but if you do have introverted kind of um, nipples that are like, nipples? <laughs> if you have introverted nipples that you need to kind of just get them to protrude out before you feed baby, this will definitely help so it comes in this little box obviously and it comes in a little it's got a little container and basically the main where the magic happens is, is this basically looks like this so you kind of squeeze it it's got like a suction kind of um, mechanism pop that onto your nipple and you let go and it kind of gives your nipple kind of like a protruding you know it just sucks it out basically essentially is what it does and I didn't actually use this because I don't know I just I, I got something else that I want to show you that actually worked better for me but this is something else that's great for people with in, introverted nipples or just nipples that need that little kind of that like just help to kind of stay stick out so that you can feed your baby so your baby can latch on nice and well okay so for what I actually use and what which really 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 changed the game for me it changed the absolute game for me when I was breastfeeding my second time round was these cups and um, what are they called I think they're called oh what are they called okay I'll put the description down in the in, in I'll put the name of it in the description bar below um, to get the actual name for it so if you case you want to get your hands on it and it's this Medela um, cup, I'll call it a um, um, breastfeeding cup. So it kind of goes like that. Okay, I've got one already <laughs> formed here. So it's basically like this. That's how it looks at the front. And this is the back. So obviously that part goes in and it looks like that from the side. So it kind of protrudes out. I hope you can see that. So um, obviously the nipple goes inside here and you pop that on in there like that. So essentially what you do with this is that you just pop that in your bra, uh, pop that onto your nipple, pop that in your bra and what it actually is supposed to do is to kind of um, apply pressure onto your nipple and keep your nipple protruded and this change the game for me and in more than one way it also protects from any contact on your nipple so like while it's trying to heal instead of it brushing against your bra or brushing against your t-shirt or anything like that you know that once you're put, once you've got this on this kind of protects your nipple from anything and it gives it a bit of air to breathe as well so that in between feeds your nipple is able to breathe and there's a bit of air and it can heal um if you have any um any um would you any like bruises or cuts or anything like that from from the sucking and everything it can just heal a bit um in between feeds so i loved this so for those two reasons so far 
the fact that it helped protrude my nipples but also it helped to, it helped my nipples to be protected while they were healing and while they were a bit um, soft and a bit delicate in the early st stages of breastfeeding and then lastly what I found was just that I'll be wearing this and then I would like <laughs> wearing it in my bra and I remember that I would like walk around I might bend over and pick something up and then I'm, I'm for some reason I'm I'm leaking <laughs> and basically essentially what it does is that also it kind of acts like a um what can I use what can I it, act, it just collects milk basically so you know how at the beginning your, your milk comes in for most women your milk comes in it comes in you know comes in very fast and very full and um the pressure of it on your nipple and your breast kind of um, makes the milk kind of come out. So I remember I would have like about that much of milk inside then. And what I would do with that with that milk was that I would just collect it. I wouldn't feed um, my daughter that milk. I will just collect it and I might use it if I needed to use it on her skin or use it for a nappy rash or use it for, yeah, anything on her body is where I would, is where I would use that, the milk that I would collect in there. So it was just, this is by Medela by the way, and it was just so, helpful on so many ways i did i didn't even know it would be that helpful i didn't even know that breastfeeding would work for me because i had failed the first time and it was just so i just felt like uh, i just can't do it. i just felt like some women women can some women can't and that's it but no from this i just I, it changed again so i love this and i'll be keeping it and um um I would recommend it for any women with introverted or kind of flatter nipples if you need that extra pull to just get your nipples to be a bit more protruded, protruded so that you can feed your baby. Don't do don't do So ladies, I really hope this video helped you. Um, let me know if you have any more questions. Just drop them down below. Let's have a chat if you have any more questions, especially this is just me sharing my journey. It's not that I'm professional or medically trained or anything like that. Um, this is just my journey so far. And I forgot to say that actually, when I, when I, my first, my son the first time, um, I had like, I saw how many mid midwives? I saw quite a few midwives to try and get some advice and help on how to latch this baby. So I, I had to turn to research because no one out there could help me. I went to midwives and they came over to my house. They were watching me latch um, my son on. They, they were just like, they didn't get why I couldn't do it because I was doing everything right. I was doing everything, like, I had the latch right, I was holding them right, everything was right. But it was just, I think it was just obviously the, it was just struggling to kind of stay on. And I didn't, to be honest, I don't know. But now I know um and yeah and now i'm breastfeeding and, and i can really thank god for that and um yeah just for pushing through as well i think pushing through and having people around you that support what you want to do i told my husband that babe i want to breastfeed this time and he was like yeah he, he he wants that and he's happy for me to do it and he really helped me oh my gosh i remember at night when I'm doing the night foods in the early days where it was really, really hard and really, really painful. And he would stay up with me and encourage me. You know, he would be like, you're doing so well, you're doing so well, keep going, keep going, babe. And that really, really helped me and helped my self-esteem and gave me the confidence to just go that one more day, to go the other day and to go for another day and another day and another day until it got to the point where, you know, it, the pain kind of just goes away. Um, so definitely would encourage you to tell the people around you, if it's your mom, it's your husband if it's a sister or friend who's staying around you when you have your baby um let them know what you want to do that you don't want to quit um and that you want to push through the you know with the feeding and 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 you need their encouragement let them know so they can support you so those those hard days which is mainly just at the beginning um it does get easier i promise you it does get easier um but yeah, let them know so that they can encourage you on those hard days where you feel like, I can't do this anymore. And um, yeah, you'll get through it and you'll be able to look on the other side and be like, wow, I'm feeding my baby. And yeah, it's just a beautiful thing. I, I love it. I love it. And having experienced both formula and, bre and breastfeeding, it's, I mean, bottle feeding and breastfeeding. Yeah, it's been, I can't lie, I, I love the bond that breastfeeding brings, but um, yeah. It's just a learning curve, you just learn. 
So yeah, I hope that helps someone out there, even if it's just a couple or handful or just one. Let me know, um, you can talk about your journey over in the comment section or you can follow me on Instagram where I post kind of daily and I'm there kind of daily so you can, you can chat on Instagram and yeah, let me know. Okay guys, so I'm going to end the video there. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stick around for more videos. I will be talking about more things to do with motherhood, lifestyle, and um, a bit of beauty. I should have some makeup videos coming out soon. Um, so stick around for that if you're interested. And yeah, if not, I'll catch you over on my Instagram where I post daily. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.